What do illustrators do? Written and illustrated by Eileen Cristolo. Essential question. How do pictures help to tell a story? What do illustrators do? They tell stories with pictures. This picture shows where two illustrators live and work. Suppose those two illustrators each decided to illustrate Jack and the Beanstalk. Would they tell the story the same way? Would they draw the same kind of pictures? I'm going to retell and illustrate Jack and the Beanstalk. Go lie down, Scooter. I'll take you for a walk later. I've been asked to illustrate Jack and the Beanstalk. Go away, Leonard. First, illustrators decide which scenes in the story they want to illustrate. There are so many scenes I want to illustrate, but I need to fit all of Jack and the Beanstalk into 32 pages. That's a tight fit. Are all books 32 pages? Most picture books are. shows which pictures go on which pages. After illustrators make a plan for their book, they need to make a dummy. A dummy is a model of the book. First, they decide what shape and size the book will be. Would you choose a square, vertical, or horizontal dummy? Dummy? I'm not a dummy. Then they make sketches of the pictures that will go on each page of the dummy. The first sketches are often rough scribbles on tracing paper. As they are sketching, illustrators need to decide how things will look. The characters, their clothes, the setting. Illustrators can use their imaginations, or they may have to do some research. I'll make Jack look like me in fourth grade. What is the shape of a beanstalk leaf? I imagine... Jack lives in a small country cottage surrounded by palm trees. Stop and think. Text and graphic features. How do the graphic features on this page help you understand the text? Some illustrators are also authors. They can change their story as they work on the sketches. Why does this story have to be about Jack? It could be about Jacqueline. She could live in this building. The beanstalk could grow on our roof. Hey, Mom, Jacqueline can look like me. That will make her book different from his. Each illustration has a different problem. For instance, from what point of view do you draw the magic bean being planted? Should I draw this picture from a bird's eye view? Close up? Far away? A mouse's eye view? The close-up bird's eye view shows the bean best. The mouse can't see the bean at all. How do you draw a beanstalk so it looks like it's growing? Leonard, stop scratching. Leonard, you'll give the drawing scale. What is scale? That night, Jack's cat watched as the beanstalk grew. Hey, that's me. The beanstalk is smaller than me, then taller and taller. You are like a measuring stick or a scale. How would it feel to run across a table right under the nose of a sleeping giant? Illustrators need to draw how their characters feel. Sometimes they make faces in a mirror to see how an expression would look. Other times, illustrators need someone else to model for them. Raised eyebrows? Eyes wide open, mouth open, Jacqueline tiptoed across the table. Hurry up, whispered the hen. She never sleeps for long. Each illustrator has a different style of drawing, just as every person has a different style of handwriting. Different styles for drawing Jack and Jacqueline. We're trying a new style. Stop and think. Author's craft. Why do you think the author uses both text and speech balloons to tell this story? When illustrators have finished their dummies, they show them to the editor and the designer at the publishing company.
the editor decides whether the pictures tell the story. The designer makes suggestions about the design of the book. She chooses the typeface for the words and the cover. I love your illustrations, but Jack looks too old at the end of the book. And on page 21, the giant doesn't look mean enough. Okay, those things should be easy to fix. If she loves his book, why does she want him to change it? She's just suggesting ways to make it better. Illustrators need to decide how they want to do the finished illustrations. They can draw different kinds of lines and textures with different kinds of tools. I'm trying different kinds of lines. Pencil, pen, brush. Pencil, brush. Pen with flexible point. Felt tip pen. They can color their illustrations with paint, pastels, pencils, or crayons. They can do an illustration without any black line at all. Watercolors. Watercolor crayons. Colored pencils. No black line. Sometimes, illustrators throw away their pictures and start again. Sometimes they change the colors, or they may change the composition. It can take months to finish all the illustrations for a picture book. Another messed up picture. What is wrong with these pictures? Beats me. At last, I've finished all 32 pages and the cover. It looks great, Mom. Before they are sent to the publisher, they need to be checked to make sure nothing is left out. Except here, you forgot the polka dots on Jacqueline's shirt. Oh, phooey. She also forgot to feed me this morning. Don't worry, once they finish the books, they'll pay attention to us again. He's working on the cover. I'm finished. Me too. Can I see your book? Illustrators often do the cover of the book last. The cover tells a lot about a story. What is it about? Does it look interesting? I like the way your jacket wraps around the book. That's me on the cover. Jacqueline and the Magic Bean. The cover is a clue to how the illustrator will tell the story. Would these covers make you want to read the books? Your cover is terrific. Jack is escaping right out of the border. Jack and the Beanstalk. Yes, I'm going to read them. Let's celebrate. Stop and think. Analyze, evaluate. Do you agree that book covers are clues to how illustrators tell the stories inside? Explain. This illustration tells how the two illustrators celebrated when they finally finished all that work. Your turn. 